Hello everyone! This video, I'm going to show you guys very basic tips on how to grind in Hadoom Red Orc area. Red Orc recommended AP is 280 and DP is 340, which I believe is about entry level spec to be on safe end to grind easily. In the beginning, you guys should actually open up your settings UI and adjust your effect opacity to 100%. I really recommend 100% if you're first time here so that you can actually see this light burst. When you come to orc area, if there is somebody already grinding, you will be able to see that spot or that rotation will have the light burst going on. And if you have the opacity all the way up, you will be able to even easily locate this whole rotation. And 100% versus 30% has a lot of difference. Like right now, you guys barely can see it. And later on, once you get used to your rotation, you can remove it back down to 30%. But in the beginning, I definitely recommend keeping it at 100%. Here is my favorite location. This is the rotation that's at the very edge of the Red Orc area. And this spot is actually kind of on a slope. So if your class doesn't do well with the Z difference, maybe this is not the right spot for you. In the beginning of grinding, this is what you want to do. You want to go around and kill the prison cells first. And if there, if you see a wizard actually casting, you want to hit him to make sure that he's not fully casting the buff. Later, I'll show you guys when he is actually left alone to cast all the skills that he was casting he gains a buff and it's a AP buff that you might get one shot so continue on killing all these prison cells and you will see these light balls following you and once you kill five in the next one next prison cell you will see this buff that pops up and this would be the good time to open up your loot scrolls and other other buffs so that your one hour not a single minute of your one hour is wasted right now i'm actually killing these mobs really easy because on the way to this rotation i picked up a Okiara longsword and that's actually a 10 minute buff item that you become very strong when killing these mobs. The AP might not be actually equal to your weapons, regular weapons, if your weapon is about pen and have some capras on it, it might not have higher AP, but I promise you it's gonna be stronger than your regular weapon. And the main point of this grinding spot is to keep up with this light burst buff in the whole area by making sure that you destroy these uh, light prison cells. And here, you see that light ball following me, right? And you can actually drag it to a certain spot and once it casts a buff, the mobs will die even easier with this. So some people who grind faster than the rotation of this light burst, they will actually utilize this to make sure that they are killing including the mobs at the edge of it, edge of this light burst debuff area, and you get to kill extra mobs. And while grinding, you see this message, you hear happy whispers, and this is the announcement that there is an NPC 
which looks like it's just like another light bulb, it will give you this powerful weapon for this region. And it only lasts for 10 minutes as soon as you pick it up. So I actually recommend that you pick it up and then you put it on right away. And make sure that before you do that, you absorb your Black Spirit Rage. So you're not wasting your Black Spirit Rage when you pick it up. And another tip is that if you encounter one right after the other, there's six minutes for you to pick up that weapon before this NPC disappears or somebody else comes and picks it up. This is not bound to you. That NPC is not bound to you. So unless you know for sure that nobody's come and pick it up, I would actually just pick it up right away. But just for your information, there is about six minutes for you to pick it up before that NPC disappears. So just to show you guys that that NPC will be there for six minutes. I'm going to just keep this um, grind play out and I'm gonna show you guys some items that drops in this area. First one is this heart item. This one is probably a lot of people's reason why they're coming here. This one is a ingredient to upgrade your necklace item. Any yellow grade necklace, it you get to have additional 150 max HP with this upgrade. You get you can put it on any enhancement. So, however, but when you pull it out, you will lose the enhancement material. So you will have to grind the game or just buy it from the buy it from the marketplace or come back here and grind another hundred heart next item is the shard of furious knight this item is to upgrade a ring any yellow gray ring and any enhancement and you will actually have to go pick up another hundred of a different type of tearful knight which comes out of altar imp or Fogon Swamp. So this is actually a harder upgrade because actually the drop rate in my experience is about half of the heart. And you will have to go grind and swamp to on top of that. So all these upgrades sound may sound a little bit confusing. I will add a link to a guide at blackdesertfoundry.com on the description below and these two items are actually just a better material for me but a lot of other people who are trying to upgrade their black star armor set this would be the item that you guys will have to collect to upgrade it and essentially once you're done upgrading those cup materials, you can actually just keep collecting it to make the cup and sell it on the marketplace. Or these Black Star Armor upgrade materials are very good silver if you just fender it. And that's about it regarding how much money you can make from this area. Actually, a lot of... Um, my experience is that I get about 6,000, 6,500 to 7,000 on a normal without aggress with a normal loot scroll. But a lot of my guild members they get easily like 8,000 plus 10,000 up to 10,000 just without picking up the sword. The sword it seems like to me it drops like around once per like one loot scroll but it really depends on your RNG I mean it could drop three times however it could also drop three times all in within like two three minutes meaning you will only get to use about what 13 minutes of that one hour so really this really depends on your RNG and the trash loot amounts 
is kind of hard to measure because of all these variables. And definitely, it could be because there is a um, drop rate event going on, but I pick up a ton of black stones, like at least hundreds, and per, I mean, every hour. So this is definitely a good alternative, in my opinion, to spend your loot scrolls in comparison to different regions like um, Star's End, because at Star's End, you're looking for disto drops, which may drop, which also may not drop for days at a time. So I'd rather actually spend my loot scrolls in a place where it can actually work in terms of drop rate chance wise that it's it's high enough drop chance to begin with so that the, your loot scroll is actually working in a visible manner and we're approaching the time where i where this that npc will disappear right you can see it on my minimap it will disappear at exact six minute mark right there well that's about it regarding my guide i know it wasn't really much of a guide i just really wanted to show you guys how to get it started on this area and make sure you guys have all your buffs when you come in and have the effect opacity at 100 percent so you're not you know roaming outside of the light burst because that's really what's important in this area. And this is the very last thing that I really wanted to show you guys. I'm actually at the spot with no light burst and I just popped one prison and the wizard just ran after it and started casting his buff. And if you just leave him alone, I'm gonna show you guys what happens. If you just leave him alone, he's gonna finish it and it's gonna cast an aerial buff right there. And if you hit him, you'll see, you'll notice that extra AP buff on him and it will reset if you run away. But if you just gr keep grinding there, you're gonna get one shot and at 340 DP for sure. But when you come back, it's going to be still there. So you need to give like at least like a minute when you go run away. And then eventually it will disappear. Well, that's end of my new guide for Red Orc area. Thank you so much guys for watching. And I hope to come back with more videos on different regions. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.